So um, I think the most important thing so, that we have I, to look at the most right important thing that we have how to look at right now is how we move how, forward as a sport, how we move how forward we move as a society as well. I think this is deeper than just cricket. I think what we need to do is is address what's what's happened um, and find ways of educating more, find ways of moving forward um, and and really looking at, um, you know, areas in which we as a as a sport and beyond that as well um, can can really look to to better the, you know, better society and better the game. OK, let's go to Laura then at BBC, please. Hi, Joe. I just wondered Hi. if this whole scandal in golf in Yorkshire has affected your pride as a Yorkshire player and perhaps made you consider your future there? Um, that is obviously deep, deeply hurtful that it's happened at a club that I'm so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm so close to and it means so much for me to, to, to go and play for Yorkshire. Um, in terms of my position, if you're not at the club, how can you make any change? How can you help move things forward? Um, and and as I said, I, I look look forward to speaking to to Lord Patel at some point in the future about how I can I can help move things forward. But um, you know that's that's my position on things, and um, you know we'll see how that happens in in the future. Okay, let's move to Tom Palmerton, please, at Sky News. Hello, Joe. Um, you've been at this club since two thousand and seven. Can you say here today that you've never? heard or experienced or been aware of any of the racism that other colleagues have talked about? Not from my, not that I can recall, no. No, I can't. But the thing is, what I will say is that it's clear that there's, that things have happened at the club and um, we have to make sure that we, you know, we, we eradicate it. And, you know, we look to find ways of making sure that this never happens again in the sport. And, and as I said earlier, beyond that as well within society. OK, let's go to Steve Scott at ITV News. Um, hello, Joe. I just wondered whether you had spoken to Azim Rafiq at all ever since um, he first spoke about the experiences he had at Yorkshire. Steve, can I just say that we're not going to be able to talk about individuals? I said that from the outset, so we're going to have to move on. But happy to take any general questions. OK, um, so in, in that case, um, Joe, have you... So, just to elaborate, the picture of Yorkshire County Cricket Club at the moment embroiled in this um, racism scandal, it, it's not a culture that you recognise over your time there? No, I can only speak from my own personal experiences. Um, but, like I said, the, the thing that's really disappointing is that this has happened and that we have to find a way to move forward. We have to look at finding a way to to educate as much as we can and make sure that, you know, that, that these are hard learnings that we can, um, you know, eradicate from, from the sport and make sure that, you know, moving forward as a county, we, um, we really can make a difference in this area. Um, I mentioned it in my, in my statement, you look at the work that the current England teams have been doing over the last few years. It's something that we care, we care deeply about. We're passionate about, and we really want to make, um, make a difference in and I think you know that's it, it, this shouldn't just apply to Yorkshire this should apply across across the game it should um you know every every county should be looking and making fine ways to um to eradicate racism from from the sport and um I think it's really important that we you know we look to do that thank you okay we'll take two more bef uh, before moving on we're going to go to Rory Dollard and then Martin Ziegler to finish go ahead Rory Thanks, thanks, Joe. Um, yeah, yesterday, you know, the matter, as you know, has reached the Houses of Parliament. Um, and yesterday, the, the culture minister said that anyone found guilty of racism, a slap on the wrists is not enough, and, and suggested that they should basically be removed from the game or, or, or not be picked anymore for their representative teams. Do you, do you share that uh, resolve that, that anyone found guilty should be? pushed out or, or do you think there's room for rehabilitation and education? How do you say, sort of sit on that one? I think, I think it's a very good question. I think that from my point of view, um, you know, we all make mistakes and, you know, there's racism is, is something that we completely have to eradicate that. And, 
Um, but I do think people deserve a second chance, and if they're willing to show, um, you know, to to accept that they've made a mistake and that they want to make change and they want to move forward, then I think that's really important as well. Um, you know, we're all human beings, um, and I think it's that's you know that's something that we um, we have to remember within this that um, of course people have been deeply hurt throughout this whole whole thing and uh, but ultimately we've got to find a way to move forward and the last question on this particular topic martin ziegler then we'll move back to james cole to talk about uh, ash's preparation thank you go ahead martin are you there martin can't hear you not sure if you're on mute yeah you're on mute at the moment there we sorry, go sorry can you hear me now sorry yeah, can hear you now. So, yeah. Joe, Joe, with the benefit of hindsight and, and looking retrospectively, do you feel that you you did enough yourself to sort of keep an eye on what was happening at Yorkshire and <laughs> looking out for people who might be having troubles around the around in, in this particular um, all these incidents which we've heard about? Or, I mean, did the things really just go completely over your head? Like I said, I've spent a long time with reflecting on um you know on what you know what's happened um i think more than anything i think more than anything it's really important that um we recognize what has happened we make sure that move, moving forward we we never see this happen again and you know, whether it's at yorkshire whether it's in club cricket um whether it's in you know out in the street or, or whatever we've got to find a way of uh, of you know confronting this and stopping it and making sure that absolutely we are um you know getting getting rid of racism from society